So what a person should do is begin with Bismillah. If he's missed the Bismillah and he needs to then mention the name of Allah, then he should say Bismillah. You find this in his news. Right. Also from the do's is that a person should sit down when he is eating or drinking. Now, this is recommended, and some of them have said that it is wajib. Uh, okay. Also, the person should eat with three fingers. And this is what the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, told us to do, and this is what he had the habit of. With these three fingers, so your thumb, your uh, index, and your middle. Uh, this is what he did. Now, the hikmah for that, and the... Okay, so the hikmah of sitting down and eating, this is very important. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, I eat like a servant eats. Very important as an adab when it comes to eating is that the person has to reflect on his servitude towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, yeah, on the right hand side, even when he's eating. Sitting down, chair. Sitting was, down. Did you ever sit on a chair? Uh, there are narrations for those who eat, um, but it's not on the floor. But there is no harm in a person sitting in a chair if he needs it. That is what is called as, again, as long as the person is not standing up. Now, the reason why is because whilst the person is eating, he is eating, looking at the flavors of Allah, reminding himself of the flavors of Allah, but also showing, showing servitude in front of his master whilst he's eating. If a person is walking around eating, or eating, you know, just basically throwing everything down his throat. Um, awesome. What they used to do in Rome at that time, and even in Persia, and you've probably seen this in documentaries or maybe in movies or whatever. Um, the emperors, the, and the rulers, and the heads of state, they used to lay down, they used to have food fed to them in a manner of showing pomp and arrogance. They lay down, and the food is then presented to them, they eat in that manner. And that defies servitude. It's not, but again, there is arrogance in it. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, In the manner, as a servant eats. So, from the hikam of sitting down and eating, that a person uh, shows servitude and respect for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And like you have said, the person doesn't just throw everything down for that, you know, he works out something bad for him, he takes morsels. Uh, one at a time, and he makes sure that he digests correctly. With this also, we've got a do that I've not mentioned, that the person should then finish off the food by mentioning the name of Allah by saying Alhamdulillah. Now, I just want to mention this here, because some of the ulama have said, if a person is sitting down and eating, with each morsel, it's easier for him to remember Allah. And this was mentioned by Imam Ahmed, and I've even seen this from some of the scholars, Today is that when they used to have a morsel, they used to praise Allah whilst they're eating. So now the Messenger of Allah وسلم, has said, You will be questioned for every single bite that you have eaten and every single sip that you have drunk. Except if a pet, so everything that you've eaten and drunk in your life, you Where did you get it from? What did you do with it? Etc. We thank Allah. But the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said that if you begin your meal with Bismillah, and you end it with Alhamdulillah, you will not be questioned for that. You must be in. With that now, the ulama have said, where do you say the Alhamdulillah? Do you say it once you've eaten? Or do you finish? Or do you have the bite and you say Alhamdulillah with each bite? And the ulama have differed, and the interpretation is different. Some of them, from the time of self, like I said, Imam Ahmed, with each bite he used to say Alhamdulillah. Now, if you think about it, the person sitting down, is eating with his wife, He's eating what's close to him. Each bite, if he takes a bite, and then he's taking that time to remember Allah, you can see the respect that the person is showing towards Allah whilst he's eating. And at the same time, he's not harming his body. He's not throwing down things, and he's thinking about his next bite. He's bringing things close forward to him, him, and you know, all of those different things. So you can imagine now uh, how the ethic would be, which is probably a little bit different, or probably a lot different, the way that, you know, we now probably. Um, the other thing is to eat with three fingers, and again, that is connected to a person eating like a servant and being controlled in the amount of morsels that he has and the way he eats and, and uh, the duration that is taken. Um, the other man said that this is sunnah, and if there is a need, then he can have more uh, than the three fingers. 
Sorry. Similar to using utensils like with spoons and knives and forks. I was just going to say that you wouldn't have used three fingers to drink soup. Right. No. So in Abu Dawood and others, they you drink a bowl up. Oh, didn't use, didn't use a spoon. And actually, that is also evidence from the ulama to say that you can use the left if there is a need. If there is a need, but if you're eating something which is difficult, uh, you can use both of the 